Road networks play a vital role in growth and expansion and are crucial to countries investing in economic and social development. Roads provide access to employment, health and education services, and enable trade. In Sri Lanka, a link between road infrastructure and tourism has also been made, with the government recently saying that tourism cannot be improved without a proper road network. According to Highways Minister Johnston Fernando, the lack of roads, poor conditions of roads, and the low level of road safety have an adverse effect on the number of tourists visiting the country. Today, the impacts of road infrastructure on tourism and vice versa are more visible than ever before. The road network in all areas should be improved to cater to the needs of the tourism industry when it picks up soon after ongoing pandemic and relaxing of some health regulations, Fernando said at the ministry earlier this week. The development of Sri Lanka's road network can be traced back to colonial times, when roads were constructed mainly for the transport of produce like tea and coffee. The requirement for a road network changed with the use of motor vehicles and in 2018, the national road network of Sri Lanka consisted of 12,210.35 km of A and B class road, 169.13 km of expressways, and 4,662 bridges. Since 2018, major development to the country's road network can be seen. It is a welcome initiative as building new roads and expanding or redesigning existing roads can improve traffic conditions, which in turn can reduce fuel consumption. One of the most recent projects in Colombo has been the extension of the Marine Drive from Kolpeti to Welawat and Dihiwala, which is nearing completion. According to Fernando, it will be open for traffic later this year. The extension project consists of the construction of two sections of the road, one from Kolpeti to Welawat and the other from Welawat to Dihiwala. The section from Kolpeti to Welawat is 600 meters and cost 220 million rupees while the section from Welawat to Dihiwala is 1.2 kilometers long and cost 420 million rupees. Both sections are a four-lane road. Medilla plants have been planted on both sides of the marine drive with the assistance of the NDB Bank. Infrastructure development including the construction of pavements on both sides of the road, road signs, drainage system, parking facilities and replacement of street lights have also been completed, the highways minister said.